All right, guys, moment of truth. Hopefully it comes out good. Been waiting all morning for this, but we won't know the truth until it all gets revealed. Packing tape held up pretty good like a big Christmas present. forever to get all my forms off. I guess I can be thankful that it hasn't taken as long to get them off as it did to build it. I had about four hours in on framing this thing up, so... Taking it apart won't take that long, I hope. Alright guys, moment of truth. Let's see how it goes. Got a packing tape still holding us up. Nice, but still wet. It's not perfectly smooth. Be able to sand that out, polish it out, put a little bit of an edge on it. The goal I'm going for here is I don't want it polished up like granite. I want to keep it more raw, natural stone look. I don't want to get too polished, but I want to keep it smooth enough so we can clean it. Last part of the wooden form to come off. Then we can take off all the drip edge and see what we got. Corner didn't come up too bad. So the trip edge is slid under the plywood that has the concrete sitting on it now. It's gonna be a little to get it out, we will be able to get it. We're gonna slide it and pull it without trying. Let's 
the nice part about doing the drip edge and the forms with the way we did is the concrete drops down and kind of wraps around the plywood. So you have a nice smooth line here. It's a little rough. Once we sand it up, it'll be better. So you don't have like a transition. The plywood's all covered. Oh, hey, you like this flashlight? I just got it sent to me for to do, be doing a review. So I'll be looking forward to a video on that. I'm gonna try it out, use it, and see how we like it here. We get a nice smooth transition from concrete to plywood. It's all on the same plane. And same with all the edges on the countertop. By forming them in place, you don't see any of the plywood with the drip edge. You get nice concrete all the way down. So yeah, you can pull the concrete countertops in a form and then put them in place afterwards. We did a pour in place, I guess, countertop because this is six, almost six feet deep and seven feet wide. So about 500 pounds worth of concrete here, not figuring in the water. So it'd be pretty heavy to move this one around and set it in place. Thanks for watching. And we're gonna be doing more updates on the concrete countertop pretty soon after it dries for a few days. We're gonna let it set up and get harder. We'll be sanding and polishing this down probably from like 400 grit and then to 800 grit. We're gonna keep more of a stone feel. I don't wanna polish it up too much. Probably go like 800, just kind of the sand and the pebbles shining through here. And then we're gonna seal it off with a tongue oil, natural tongue oil, so it's more of a food grade. We'll be polishing up the edges, getting those to look nice, making a better profile there. If we have to podge them up and fill in some of the holes with a slurry, we'll do that too. If you have any questions or comments on the concrete countertop, leave them down below. I hope you're enjoying the series. We are. We're looking forward to having this is all done. We got probably another half a week or a week before we can really start sanding it and getting it all sealed and ready to use.